Hey guys, Silly here and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you and hopefully teach you how to defeat Crota in the Crota's End Raid on Destiny uh, on hard difficulty. This is actually, I was surprised that this was so hard because of course the Vault of Glass, it's it's not easy but it's not that hard and the uh, the Crota and Normal Raid, no, it, it's pretty durable but this one is actually really really tough and I like it. You need a team of six and you really need good coordination and good use of your own skills and your 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 uh, your trees and your classes so it's very nice uh, so basically uh, the setup we were doing is uh, we have two titans at least two titans for the bubbles at least one hunter for the sword and the rest is not really not really relevant i'm using the nova bomb myself because i'm a warlock guy and the nova bomb is quite nice when you're actually um, in a group of thralls and uh, these thralls do a lot of damage so uh, it's it's nice to to, to clear up a, um, a group there. So first of all we uh, put a bubble here and we kill all these adds. They're actually not that easy to kill because they're of course one level ahead of you and the, the knights are really tough. So we're going to put down the bubble and shoot all down as fast as possible. Uh, also be sure to create orbs for your teammates because there is no chalice of light. You'll need all, you need to do all the regeneration yourself. So uh, a few ways to do that is of course uh, helmets. I'm using Apotheosis Veal which uh, grants you uh, health replenish when you pick up an orb. Also uh, the titans can use the Inframountable Skull Fort which has the same thing. Some raid helmets actually do have it. For Hunter I'm not too sure which uh, helmet it is. Anyway there's a Hunter for them as well or a helmet for them as well. Uh, then when we clear up we all go to the middle here except for the sword guy and we are cl quickly going to take down the sword bearer here. So uh, all snipe and uh, rocket on him. Uh, don't mind the boomers, don't mind Crota, they cannot hit you here. That's why we go to this center. Uh, we use a very very safe method. Um, then the hunter is going to go invisible on the little rock there. He says yes and we all fire our rockets, we get Crota down. He's gonna have three smashes against Crota and uh, he's going to knife Crota so he's going to be invisible again so really good use of invisibility here uh, immediately we uh, focus Crota again get him down when we get him down for the second time we are all going to go behind this ledge here or uh, we're going to hide here because Crota is going to rotate to the right hand side uh, so uh, the five people who fire the rockets are going to sit here and uh, the guy with, uh, with the sword is actually going to go into one of the ogre chambers uh, so he's going to avoid the trolls and, uh, and such. So Crota is going to rotate here as you can see and we're just going to wait a little bit until Crota is going to turn back and uh, then we're going to do the same thing again. Get him down twice and uh, after that is where the tough part is going to be uh, which has to do with the ogres. That's uh, a really tough part but anyway this is not very hard so far. You just need a good coordination of uh, when you kill the sword bearer, when uh, the, 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 the your sword guy is going to pick up the sword and uh, when you are going to fire the rocket because Quota needs to go down really fast otherwise he's also going to stand up quicker uh, which uh, makes it hard for the for your teammate with the sword so again you need a hunter with the sword and you need titans and uh, for the second titan with the bubble you'll you'll see that later which has to do with the ogre phase and that's very very important so about the health replenish uh, you have to do it yourself uh, so you can also do it with, for example, the Surus Regime or the Red Death. There are also melee abilities for the Titan and for the Warlock. I'm not too sure with the Hunter because I haven't really played Hunter a lot, but I'm sure there is as well. So here you can see Crota is going to rotate back to the middle. So we are going to kill the Sword Bearer really quick and uh, our Sword Guy is going to pick that up. As you can see, he's coming from one of the Ogre Chambers and he is going to uh, pick it up to sit on the rock there, uh, going to go invisible, uh, just crouch as a hunter blade dancer and he's going to jump up when he says yes so he gets the invisibility. We all fire our rockets so I think there are two or three yellow horns and the rest is hunger of Crota. He gets three hits on him and um, he knives him and then uh, straight after the second time we get him down we go straight to the uh, one of the chambers where the ogre spawn. This is really important because otherwise you're going to go down really quickly. Also this part when the thralls are here uh, it's a good time to use your Nova Bomb as a uh, as a Warlock and it's also quite a good time for a Titan to use his shield for uh, because of course uh, the Titan shield has the um, the extra armor, the Blessing of Light uh, or the Armor of Light, I'm not sure which two it is actually uh, so uh, you won't all die. So uh, wait a little bit here and the Ogre is going to spawn we're going to kill that Ogre really quickly and then we are going to um, kill the other Ogre as well. So we're going to kill this Ogre, be sure to kill it really quickly because otherwise uh, he's going to kill one of you guys and you do not want an Oversoul to happen because when there's an Oversoul you're basically done. So right now we're going to put down a shield here so this is where the other Titan comes into place and we're going to kill the uh, second Ogre. I'm actually a little bit passive here because uh, 
I'm a bit scared that the ogre is going to focus me down and I don't have yellow horns. I actually don't have a single rocket here right now. So uh, it's, uh, it's very important to just stay alive and coordinate really well with each other and uh, then you should be fine. So as you can see I get a heavy ammo drop right there which is really nice and uh, what we're actually going to do right now is we kill the ogre and we wait for Crota to rotate back and when Crota rotates back we go back all the way to the crystal where you actually start. Uh, this is also a good time to use either the bubble or the nova bomb because usually there are quite some thralls here. Right now there are actually none which is really strange but there should be thralls here in a, uh, in a normal attempt. I'm not sure why they are not here right now but they should be there and right here we're just going to wait an entire rotating sequence for Crota to rotate back. We're playing it safe here, we probably could have done it um, because Crota is in the middle right now but um, we are playing it safe, we want to kill him and um, it's just a good way to play it safe because uh, you do not want to die here. We died here a couple of times when Croto was really low on health and that is actually <laughs> not very nice. So uh, be sure to play it safe. I mean you got the time. Uh, the enrage timer is actually uh, quite long. It's probably around 10 minutes or so. So you really have enough time to uh, to have this um, uh, to to skip this rotation sequence here. So I think Crota is already gone to the right now. Or he's going to go very soon. And um, once he rotates back to the middle, we will uh, we will start with the last sequence. So as you can see, he's going to the right now, and uh, we probably would have had enough time to get him down twice, but uh, we just didn't want did not want to take the chance. And as you can see here, my health is actually uh, at half. So uh, I actually should have asked a Titan to pop his bubble so I would have had my health back but I didn't really think about it. Um, so always be careful for your health because if you die, even if you if you have a Resurrect as a Warlock, the Oversoul is really killing. I mean you need the, the all the time you have to kill the sword bearers or to shoot down Crota. You don't really have the time to uh, shoot on the Oversoul and the Oversoul is also very tough so uh, most of the time or on a lot of times you actually will not kill it and your attempt is over so that really 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 sucks so here I'm just dancing with Crota he cannot do anything and as you can see his health is um, is quite low that's what you get when you uh, go two rotations when you hit him uh, when you just hit him with the sword three times every time you get him to this health uh, apparently so uh, you do not want to miss a single shot because otherwise uh, the enrage is going to fuck you up so Crota is going back to the, m to the middle and we are also going to go back to the middle be careful of the boomers so be sure to sprint really fast and all go at the same time and uh, right now we're going to kill the um, the sword bearer and we do not see him but I think he is on the right hand side that's why uh, the common cold is there and, um, and AJ and Cool is also looking for him because uh, right here we thought our attempt was going to be fucked up because um, you have to be, um, uh, you need to kill that, that, that sword bearer quickly and we just couldn't see him, eventually he came into our sights and as you can see uh, Cruel was going to pick up the sword and we are going to go, uh, going to get Crota down for the last attempt so uh, he screams yes, we all fire our rockets and uh, he's going to go down and right now um, he will enrage, that's always the case when he's low on health he will always enrage so be sure to have your rockets ready, just ignore the oversoul, fire on him with everything you have and right now there are thralls behind us so um, I'm very happy we didn't die but then with the last few sword hits you will be able to get him down actually one of our teammates, uh, he uh, did get the crux of Crota which you will get uh, which you will need for the Necro Chasm, its drop is really rare and you didn't see it on the screen right there, you didn't see any exotic jobs, uh, drops I actually got a no land beyond myself but as you can see we're all going towards him right now because he was screaming and we all thought it was unfair because he didn't even level his idol on Ellie here but I got the uh, the word of crow to the hand cannon which is very nice, I'm very happy with that So and my friend he got the crux of Crota so that's a very nice attempt and it actually also shows that you do not have, you, don't, you do not need to have the shader equipped to uh, get the crux of Crota because he didn't have the shader equipped and he got it anyway so uh, he's dancing here right now because the common call was actually quite jealous of him um, but I was just very happy with the um, with the weapons I got I got three weapons in one single run the um, the auto rifle the pulse rifle and the hand cannon all I need is the uh, the fang of Ayud right now because I didn't get didn't get it on my other runs as well. So that is one weapon I am looking forward into getting, but right now I'm happy with the weapons I have. They're all really good actually, I haven't tried the Pulse Rifle, but the Auto Rifle and the Hand Cannon are really nice. So um, that's uh, a good um, a good reward for your effort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you uh, learned something from it. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe to me, and I will see you later. Bye.